Hi. Good morning, Sagittarius. The most annoying sign in the fucking zodiac. Just kidding. Um, Scorpios are pretty annoying too. So are Cancers, actually. Not gonna lie, and that's what I am. Hi, if you're new here, uh, my name's Tori Franco, and this is my channel. And I have a podcast called The Tori Franco Show, which is the name of this channel. But I also like to do tarot. Uh, it's something I've recently gotten into within the last, like, seven months. And apparently it's something I'm passionate about and something that I'm fairly good at. So, well, at least that's what people tell me. So here I am, doing Zodiac readings. Um... <clears throat> This is essentially a timeless reading. Whenever you get to this reading is when it's meant for you. That's, like, my belief. But I'm going to put it that it's for July, mid-July, whatever, whatever it is. I'm going to try to keep these weekly. Um, I don't know. But, I mean, let's see. And they're general. So I know some people come to tarot cards to see if their ex is coming back um, and is going to reach out. If that comes up, sure. But if it doesn't come up, I'm going to just read what I see. I'm not going to make a story. And if it doesn't fit for you, it doesn't fit for you. It's not your fucking story. So that's that. But I also am not going to tell people what they want to hear either. That is not um, a responsible... That's not what a responsible reader does. So... Let's see. Let's see what we got for for Sagittarius. Fucking annoying bastards. Let's see. <laughs> okay. For the love of Pete. For the love of fucking Pete. Okay. <laughs> First card out is this card right here. This is the card of lack mindset. I don't care what the fuck you're portraying on the outside. On the inside, you either feel left out in the cold, you feel abandoned, you feel like you're not good enough. You got the three of pentacles in reverse. This could be I mean, this could be some sort of collaboration that you got into um, third party situation that you got into, like, that just did not work out. Somebody did not have your best interest at heart, and you realize that the hard way. <laughs> That's literally what I'm saying. You got the Five of Cups. That's emotional loss. You're going through it right now. Um, that's literally what the first three cards out say. Three of Pentacles is getting into something with somebody, whether that is a business endeavor, a friendship, uh, a relationship, like working on things, thinking you're collaborating with somebody and working together with somebody and realizing that that person is not working for you, they're working against you. This is a very clear fucking reading. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you got the hanged man. And the hanged man is all about surrender. Uh, so it's like, Allow yourself to feel the feelings, but also allow, if something ended, allow it to end. It's okay. Because, <laughs> okay, yeah. Damn, okay. Um, it's okay because there are, because you got yourself. And I'm saying that because underneath the hangman is the nine of pentacles, which is that independent energy, that bad bitch pre-empress, like, I'm getting my shit together, I'm getting my coin, I'm getting my body, I'm getting everything that I want for myself, right? Um, so I, I think either this situation propelled you to that or it's going to have to. And you're going to have to just let things go. And also, the Five of Pentacles talks about negative mindset, right? Negative self-talk. You got to let that shit go too. And like, it's one thing to, to, it's one thing to, to, to speak that you're worthy. It's another thing to know that deep within, you know what I'm saying? And so five of pentacles is a very lack mindset. 
I don't feel like you're necessarily in this victim place, but you're feeling it. You're definitely not happy where you're at right now. Five of Cups could also be about regret too. So it's like maybe you regret getting involved in whatever this situation is. I'm going to pull more cards and see what the fuck. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> All right, so if, okay, the two of wands at the bottom of the deck is stuck energy for me as a reader, right? Like, I read that as you're maybe feeling a little stuck, not knowing which way to go. Um, I, I would say, I don't want to say emotionally. I don't know why I wanted to say that, but that's what I'm fucking feeling. Um, moon, right here. You are afraid of the unknown. I mean, who isn't, right? But, like, this is, like, very much so coming up in the reading so it's like um you're scared you're scared of what you don't know you're scared of what you've never known before and 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 maybe that's putting you in this place of like lack mentality uh but the good news is is you're forging forward one thing I could say about the Sagittarius people that I've actually come across my father's a Sagittarius I've known a couple of Sagittarii that um, are near and dear, they forge forward. They definitely forge forward um, in adversity. They don't stay in that lack mindset for too long. They really don't. And I can tell you this, whatever that emotional loss was or is that you're dealing with, the judgment card is saying like it was brought to you by the universe. The universe brought it to you either so you could learn a lesson about yourself or so, you, so that you could level up in some sort of way. The chariot is about graduations. It's about leveling up. Um, but there are still things, right? Like you're still on a path of like, I don't know where this path is going to take me. I don't know what's going to happen. And maybe that makes you kind of scared. Um, let me, let me, let me see what the fuck else comes up. I love this fucking deck. This is the Gregory Scott deck, uh, linked down below. These three cards just fucking fell right out. So let's, uh, let's see what they are. Like I said, <laughs> oh fuck. Um, these three cards were at the bottom of the deck just now. You got the Queen of Pentacles, um, upright, which is like, I'll show you what cards they are. Nine of Pentacles, which I talked about before. Uh, this card I didn't see before. The Lovers. The Lovers is about making a choice in a connection. Um, but it's it, it, with the Judgment card here, it's like a divinely guided choice. Uh, either for yourself. Like the Lovers doesn't... I mean, the Lovers, it, the lovers is about love. But... It, this could be about self-love because you got the nine of pentacles, which is independence, right? You're learning to love yourself. And I feel like in that loving yourself, you're manifesting some sort of abundance for yourself. Or at the very least, learning to trust your intuition and trust that um, that voice, the inner voice, not the voice inside your head that tells you you're not good enough and that you're ugly and that you need to do this, 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 and this. Not that voice. That gut voice. The inner voice, your heart center voice that tells you this is good and this is bad. You know what I mean? It's like even though there are many unknowns, you don't know what's going to happen and maybe that's a little jarring and you're a little afraid, you at the very least know that whatever happens you need to give back to yourself. Nine of Pentacles is about independence. It's about um, reaping. Why do I always want to say reaping? It's about basking in the um, in the glow. Basking in the glow. Let me take a sip of my fucking tea here. By the way, if my armpits are hairy, I apologize. I don't shave every day, okay? Don't judge me. Again, though, two of wands is in reverse at the bottom of the deck, which is either for me, 
it's like you're stuck in a decision. Twos are all about decisions, right? And the lovers is about a decision and a connection. You are stuck. You are not making a decision on there's something there's something you're either stuck on you need to plan better whatever the fuck it is you're 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 stuck in some sort of decision that's the two of the two of wands in reverse but i feel like i feel like if you're stuck in some sort of decision the decision might either be made for you or it might have been made for you with the judgment here. The judgment is a call from the universe, God, whatever the fuck you believe in. The judgment card is a call from the universe that you take. The universe is saying, Burr, Sagittarius, hey, uh, go that way. And you either say, okay, universe, thank you for letting me know. Thank you for giving me the sign that this is the way I need to go. Or... You have free will to be like, sorry, universe, not taking that call, bye. But if you don't take the call, right, from the universe, <laughs> they just call you incessantly even more. You know what I mean? Or they give you some sort of tower moment uh, that shakes up your foundation that makes you have to take the path. And I feel like well, maybe you're isolating. I don't know if you're isolating. Um, maybe isolating to focus on yourself and level up, but there's still, let me see, let me pull three more fucking cards before I, uh, before I talk. I'm just getting like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Lord, okay, you got the four of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Four of pentacles upright is about conservation. Four of Pentacles in reverse is about giving too much. Then you got the Three of Cups um, with the lovers. And then Three of Pentacles in reverse. Both of these threes are in reverse. So it's either a third-party situation that ended um. Or that's just, that could be a friendship that ended. That could literally be just some sort of connection that ended. Um, but you're feeling the ending of this. It's not making you happy. You got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, you're trying. It seems as though, like, the vibe I get is, like, I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing for me, and that's great. Like, you're in a good, you, I think, are in a good place um, monetarily possibly like you got your money right for sure i see like you got your money right you're like reaping the benefits of like the work that you've put in for yourself right um but there's still a need the king of Pe the king of the king of pentacles is very stubborn energy ungrounded stubborn energy so there's either somebody who's being stubborn with you or you're being stubborn in a situation i feel like I feel like it's you because it's coming up over your energy um oh man but there was a situation you gave too much to or something like that like you gave to did a card just fall i'm going crazy there was a situation you might have given too much to and because the three of cups can be about overindulgence too like you're overdoing it. You're, there's something you're overdoing. But you're also being stubborn. And you're also not at the core. It just seems like you're not completely happy. Okay. That's a good sign. That's not a good... Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So there's a need for you. All right. Yeah. You're releasing heartbreak. The Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, right? Something that hurt you, uh, clearly, you're, you're trying to release it. You're trying to heal right now. And in healing, in so healing, um, you are planting seeds for yourself, for your future. This is potential, right? This is you fi maybe finally seeing the potential in yourself. Um, but there's something 
the seven of swords is like something the seven of swords with the king of pentacles out here like on top of the king of pentacles these two cards it tells me there's something you're either cutting corners around um like you're doing something that's not that may seem like maybe right now it's for your greater good but in the long run it, it might not be if that makes sense the seven of swords is also about sneaky behavior lies deceit so you, there's something you're like i don't know maybe you're not maybe you're not telling anybody that maybe you're not telling anybody that like deep down you yeah you you're still kind of feeling you're still kind of feeling what you're feeling <laughs> like maybe you're just not speaking about your feelings and that's where the stubbornness comes from the king of pentacles is a very stubborn card but the ace of pentacles here and the six of pentacles in reverse is like you're giving back to yourself either you're saving your fucking money and your coin or you're just like i said focusing on self-love right now focusing on you um what's this ace of pentacles yeah okay there's something you're manifesting some sort of opportunity that you're bringing to light um i don't know maybe you're about to manifest some money this is about like or maybe you're just again seeing the potential within yourself seeing the fact seeing the magic inside you right that you have what it takes to manifest greatness um there are still things you need to work through clearly because i feel like the first three cards that came out at the core i feel like maybe you're not fully aligned yet you're not fully there you're still dealing with <laughs> three of swords again at the bottom of the fucking deck you're still dealing with the heartbreak or or sadness or something some sort of loss right you're still dealing with that and feeling like i don't want to say abandoned but maybe maybe feeling abandoned and that's okay it's okay to feel that way you're gonna go through the motions but i think possibly like again seven of swords is sneaky energy deceitful like either you're trying to deceive yourself like no i'm really fucking happy when realistically you still have some healing to do or um it's just like you're not speaking up about how you're feeling okay but you leveling up still all right <laughs> um okay you got the empress out which is which is good right for me um as a reader that well for everybody if you're if this is your energy um it's a good sign like you're you're getting to this place of being able to create for yourself that's the empress is and maybe you're getting in touch with your emotions more or maybe the empress is like you need to get in touch with your emotions in order to create the life that you want and the things that you want the king of pentacle the knight of pentacles is in reverse that's inconsistency so there's something you're not being consistent with i, I feel like it's emotions because the empress is all about emotions right the empress talks about being in touch with your your most feminine side and being in touch with your emotions like that's straight up what it is and the empress can create the empress is is all about fertility not like you know pregnancy for can mean pregnancy fertility maybe some of you are getting pregnant or whatever but it's just about creating and co-creating with people around you right but the knight of pentacles is saying like it's like maybe your environment is not conducive maybe the outer is not um aligned with the inner and in order for you to manifest whatever the fuck it is you want to manifest whatever the, it, it is you're trying to like bring into existence it's like your environment has to match your insides and your insides has to match your environment it's like this mind body soul thing i'm gonna pull three more fucking cards 
because it just feels very like all over the place. The Empress is about being in touch with your emotions. Like not compartmentalizing shit, not putting things in boxes, but really f- facing things. And and with the Seven of Swords here, it's like it's like facing yourself. That's that's the vibe I get from these cards. I feel you. Mhm. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, we're going to get the Page of Swords out at the bottom of the deck. That's about research. Um, That's about looking things up. Like, maybe you're trying to figure out what's best for you. Like, maybe you're trying to, I don't know, you're researching something. Maybe you're spying on some somebody or somebody's spying on you. Like, whatever it is. But you got the Eight of Wands in reverse, above the magician which is basically saying like either things that you're you're trying to manifest or bring into into being they're delayed and you're getting frustrated about it but the reason why it's being delayed is because you're not you're not in a pl- like it's like you're not in a heart you're not in a heart space but the queen of wands is in reverse and that's your energy 100% your energy like that's just clarify clarification that this is exactly your energy this is this is good though like you're you're rebuilding your confidence and your self-worth um but i feel like it has to come from within that's the queen of wands is like you're realizing your self-confidence but the realization comes from within and once you realize that it comes from within there's the balance there's the fairness there's every like there's the right decision making again there's some sort of decision right with the lovers it's about choices with the two of wands it's about being stuck in a choice which way do i go george justice is saying like you need to use you need to have the balance between your emotions and your mental right a lot of the times it's like that head over heart decision the head and the heart kind of need to be in harmony with one another. It can't be head over heart or heart over head, whatever. It's got to be completely aligned. You have to know in your brain that it's the right decision to make and also know in your heart that it's the right decision to make. And with the judgment out, it's like, look for the signs. Look for the signs. Pay attention to the signs of the universe because the universe will give you the answers that you need if you just... <clears throat> pay attention. So that's probably what I'm going to name this video is pay attention, Sagittarius. <laughs> Fucking pay attention. Um, That's it. That's all I got. Like, it's pretty clear. Y'all are healing. Y'all are doing the work. That's great. But there's still, you know, still things that, that need to, uh, uh, like, that you need to stop being stubborn about, I guess. Like, and still things that you need to push forward from and still feel like if you're we can't all have be on our a game a hundred percent of the time right so if there are days where you're feeling it and you're like feeling like shit allow those feelings to come it's totally fine be honest with yourself about what you're feeling what did i say i was gonna name this already forgot I already fucking forgot. Anyway, that's it. I love y'all. <laughs> uh, peace out, Sagittarius. <laughs>